Hello and welcome. Now, this is going to be my review of my Seiko Orange Monster, as it's been called. Uh, the model number is uh, SKX781K. Okay, it's a stainless steel automatic watch with an orange dial. You can get this in with a with a black dial uh, with slightly different hands. But uh, nonetheless, I'll talk about why it was called a monster. When this watch first came out, it must be 10, 15 years ago, something like that, it, uh, it was actually, the, the, the whole bezel was, um, it's huge at the time. It's uh, very, very large. It's, uh, the, the diameter is 42 millimeters. Okay, 42 millimeters. That's, that was pretty big back then. And since then, dials have been becoming larger and larger and larger. The cases have been becoming larger and larger and larger. Till now, you can quite easily find them that are 50, 55 millimeter, huge things the size of dinner plates. Okay, huge. I actually really like the size of of this uh, this uh, case diameter. I really do. Um, it's just about right. I mean, I compare it to a to a G-Shock, and uh, probably just a little bit smaller. But then again, that's quite quite a large G-Shock, really. But uh, I think it's it's an excellent size. I will I will put it on now. This this watch, it's uh, it's meant to be a diver's watch, and I would probably have to agree with that. I would question the the reliability of it. That it, if it still works when you get down there and things, I mean, it should do. But n nonetheless, um, I'm sure it would would work well. It's an open clasp um, the design. Uh, well, it's fold over clasp with a with a safety. So you put it on like so. Pinch that, push it down, clips into place, and the safety goes on. Bang! It came obviously really loose with with additional links already on quite easy with a with a with a watch kit a watch uh, maintenance kit you can quite easily um, remove the pins if you're having problems I'm happy to do a video uh, of course uh, but you basically just ram a steel rod uh, arrows pointing down so you ram it through that way that pops uh, the the pin and the the little um, spacer thing or whatever it's called and um, it pops that out as well and then you just remove the link remove another one and then join them back up uh, but uh, the other way if you see what I mean anyway enough about that uh, the, the watch is is just beautiful it's it is a classic and um, it's very rugged very it's it's automatic and you've got to love that automatic movement um, watch aficionados would probably say, "Oh, that's a terrible movement and things like that." Um, but I think it's fine. It's it was my first automatic watch, and uh, I think it was, it was it was a good starter, really. Um, it says here, "Automatic divers, 200 meters." Uh, I might do a 1080p video of this because uh, just just to highlight it, I just think it's very simple to look at. Uh, it's minimalistic. Um, it, I've had this for about two, two, three years now. It's got some scratches and stuff, which is quite rare, really, because uh, I haven't really put it through an awful lot of rugged, you know, um, rugged outdoors things. But uh, it has a few on there. Um, I'm not too bothered. It's got a very nice uh, rotating, like crown, you'd say. Sounds really nice. Like you kind of. Setting a bomb? No, um, sorry about that. Uh, you, it's just really quite a nice sound, and uh, it's, that has uh, luminescent paint on there. I mean, you, we, I'll talk about the the luminescent paint right now. Seiko are very, very generous when it comes to their paint. They don't put two or three layers on. They'll they'll put five to ten layers of of their paint on, and uh, that's a very, very good thing in my opinion. Very good thing. Um, I'll just just show you for five seconds put it up to the lamp and that's been about five seconds now turn the lamp off there we go it's uh, basically radioactive isn't it um, it it's incredible the you won't find you won't really find a, a brighter uh, watch with luminescent paint around you, you just won't I mean even the newer Seiko's their, their paint is good, 
but uh, I don't know why it just just still doesn't beat beat uh, beat these monsters. That's uh, one of the good features. A lot of other companies that have have paint that charge you know one to three thousand pound for their watches, their paint isn't as good either. And um, so so that's a that's a good job, Seiko. Talk about the movement. It's uh, obviously it's a you know a Japanese movement. It's uh, it's just it's just an excellent excellent movement. Very smooth. Has the the day and the date on there. Very easy to change. I'll just quickly show that for you. It's got this little um, kind of like a screw screw cap here. It's just uh, just another ma uh, point to make. It is a self wind. It's not solar powered or anything like that, um, and it doesn't have a battery not really and um, the way you charge it up is uh, it's got a spring inside and when that rotates obviously that makes that large motion into a smaller motion and and obviously transforms it into a really really small motion and uh, that 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 motion then gets changed into obviously this this large it's very complex but basically if you do this with it it charges it up you you probably Really, I'm not sat there in the morning for half an hour doing that. Probably only like, what, 20 seconds, 10 or 20 seconds do that. And then it uh, that'll last for a few days. I mean, it's very, very efficient in that, that respect. If you leave it there, yeah, it will stop. Two or three days, it will stop. Not a problem. We just uh, do that motion again and it, it will um, run itself up again. Yeah, there are watch cases that uh, that will rotate your your watch around but for me I just think that's an awful waste of electricity or power just you know rotating a watch so that it self so that it can tell the time I mean just buy a watch with a battery <laughs> I don't get it <laughs> but anyway uh, yeah so you, it's self winding uh, how to change the time you unscrew this uh, little crown thing and uh, so when you screw, unscrew it furthest out it you you can change the time okay so that's all the way out towards uh well my hand um and then you can change the time it's worth noting that the second it doesn't stop the seconds timer so you either have to quickly okay right that's that's exactly you know four o'clock oh missed it you know uh or to you can say hack it manually hack it you, if you turn it backwards look it either stops the second hand or it wrote or it uh, rewinds the second hand. I have heard that that can actually cause it harm, so do that with with caution, really. Um, and what's a few seconds out anyway, really? Um, anyway, so that's that. If you push it in a little bit, you can then change the the date numbers. And if you uh, push it anti-clockwise, you can do the the days. So that's just a little little showing of that. Don't worry too much about, I mean, yeah, it, it might do it harm over tightening that, but as long as it's quite tight, I won't worry too much about it underwater and things. I, I wouldn't, obviously I wouldn't change the time underwater, but uh, if you're, you know, really conscious, oh no, I've, I've unscrewed this and the water's going to go in. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, and I wouldn't over tighten it either. But there's just, just a few words of advice really. Okay, overall, I've been very happy with this watch. It's it's done very well. I would love the black version. I really would. The the one with the black, black dial. I've had a look at the new Seiko Monsters that they've brought out. And pers personally, I'm not really... I don't like them as much. But that's just my opinion. I mean... Watch tastes vary hugely, hugely. But I would, I would obviously like the the one with the black dial, and uh, maybe a combination of both. I know that the newer ones do do give you that, but the the uh, markers look different and and all the rest. But it's it's a very easy watch to to read, as you can see with the five ten and all the rest. And it's quite a smart watch. I mean, this is this looks great with the shirt. But then again, so does the the, uh, the one with the black dial. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd just do a do a review of this legendary watch. It's a very robust uh, watch. Um, it's just heavy. It's just one of those watches that's that's quite heavy, and it just uh, it just sp speaks room. You know, speaks. Uh, miles of quality really. Anyway, uh, if you have had any experiences with, with your Seiko Monsters, 
um, good or bad, please leave them in the comments below. Definitely. Um, you know, it's YouTube is all about you, um, and you can obviously share experiences. Uh, you know, down below. Thanks uh, very much for watching. Bearing with me again. Take care.